Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. If you find these videos helpful, consider supporting me through Patreon. Many of you have probably seen these flight type of flight tests or movements from location to location in Tableau and you thought, hey, that's pretty cool. But I know to get a curve, that's gonna take a lot of uh, geometric or ge uh, trigonometry calculations. And so it's a little bit intimidating. I wanna show you how simple it is to create these type of curves with a simple make line function. I'm going to start here with a blank sheet. Here's my data. I've got dates, airport from, airport to, and I put down number of flights. I just wanted to give it something. Maybe that's passengers, flights per day is actually what I was thinking come to sheet one and we're going to grab and we're just going to put on the we're just going to put one of them on the chart uh, actually we have to change that so that it's geology or geography geographic role change this to airport and then we're going to change this to airport where did we go it was just here Oh, there we go, geography, sorry. And so now you can see that these are uh, geography. Now when I double click one of them, now this assumes that your, uh, your airport, airport from and to are the same. If you have some to's that you don't have from's, uh, one, you've got a problem because they're all going one way and they can't get back. But two, uh, you just may have to do this next step twice. Now this is something that I didn't realize is these, uh, you see these latitude and longitude generated. And so I thought, oh, those are generated specifically for the airport. And so I can take that information and I can use that in the make line function that requires a longitude and a latitude. You can't, uh, it doesn't do that. So what we're gonna need to do is calculate or identify what the longitude and latitude is for these airports. If you're moving between locations, you probably already have that or can generate that longitude or latitude for those specific locations. I'll show you how I did it really quick. I'm gonna come under workbook, I'm gonna copy, uh, and you're gonna grab data. And then you're gonna go to Excel. Now I've already done this once before, and so you can see the longitude and latitude there. And I'm just gonna show you real quick. I'm just gonna paste it so that's how it comes across. I went ahead and changed this from longitude and latitude generated to lat and long. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back to Tableau. And now I've already got those saved. And so I'm going to come now to the data source. Now I am going to see if this, if you're doing this at home, you may need to refresh your data or edit the data connection here so that it shows this new sheet shows up. And so I'm going to just pull it over here and I'm going to make this my from, we're gonna have this equals from airport and longitude latitude equals airport. I'm going to right click, and just rename this from airport. And then I'm gonna pull this over again. And this time I'm going to have it go on the two airport. These are log logical tables. Now I'm going to change this to extract because otherwise it kind of grinds away. All right, so you'll see that, uh, well, you won't see it, but it's already saved. Now what we need to do, you'll see that here's the table, here's the from airport, here's the to airport, and then here's the main sheet here. Now, as I said before, these airports we need to change that to now we have the longitude and latitude so what we want to do is create on the sheet one we want to create um, we're going to make a point we're going to call it two and we're just getting rid of that space okay and so we're just making a point 
we can just put Latin long because Tableau has already given it a different name here. If we were going through, uh, you might make lat to or lat from long to, just so it's easier when you're going through it. So that's the to airport. And now we're going to create another field. This one's the from airport. And you can see over here, this is what you need to do to make a point. It has to be a number or a number, and in this case, it has to be a longitude, a latitude, or lo and longitude. So that's what we've got. And so now we are going to create the line. This is another, uh, I'm just call flight path. And this is a make line. And we're putting the from point, you can see here off to the right, the start point and the end point. And so we're going to have the from airport. And you can see that this is a recognized as a, a geographic point from airport, comma, to airport. So we don't want the name. This is the actual geographic location. And then when we bring the flight path onto details, there you go. Boom. Now, what you can do, because these are lines, you could grab, uh, actually, I've got a date. So I'm going to bring the date up here. And I'm going to bring uh, month and year, because I know that was the information. And so I'm just going to pick one here. We'll just pick August. That's all made up data, and now you can bring the flights under the size. So now you have different heights, and you could do filters or whatever so that you can you know, say, hey, I want to just look at one particular city. You'll notice that some of these that are inside the U.S., they don't have a lot of curve. Uh, it's only where you can see, like, overseas, where you see a lot of the curvature due to the Earth's um, curve. Now look down here, when we look at the notes... I'm going to put the comments, let's see here, put that on the, not the labels, I don't want that on the labels. I want that on the tool tips. And you see airport two, and that gives you an asterisk and that causes some problems. Uh, and that's because there's a lot of different airports that that is coming, going to. There's not just one. It's going to Seattle and Albany and where else is it going? Someplace else. So that's why you get the asterisks. That's how you basically do it is you have to identify the point, right? That's what we were doing up here is we have to create a point, a geographic location. Tableau is still recognizing this as a uh, although it says geographic location here, we can't use that in the make line. So this is making a point on a map, and then we do the, the flight path. And I should have made this bigger. Let me, let me make this bigger for you. There's the make line from the airport to the airport. And that you just put that on the details. And I'm going to show you, sorry, I should have done this earlier. And there's the, the make point. Okay. It's exciting. Let me know how you use it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.